Is that a warm Caribbean beach? Or just an image on my computer? And actually, it's snowing outside. Welcome to the world of the writer, where sometimes, even when you're in this, your mind has to be in that. That's because your brain has to go wherever your story goes. The first time I had to deal with this phenomenon was when I was writing A Quarter for a Kiss back in the winter of 2003. It was snowing like this, but in my mind, I had to go to a place like this. That's because the story was primarily set down in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So somehow in my fictional world, I had to be where it was warm and sunny and beautiful without a snowflake in sight. The weird thing is that sometimes you get so immersed in that other world that when you come back to reality, it's almost shocking. You're like, it's snowing? What? Fortunately, your imagination really can transport you from here to there and back again. Which is a good thing, too, because I had to do it in reverse in the summer of 2008 when I was writing Shadows of Lancaster County. I just happened to be on a Mediterranean cruise with my family, but I was on a tight deadline and had to keep working. So while I was soaking up the warm Mediterranean sun, I had to be back in snowy Lancaster County, Pennsylvania with my brain. By that point, the transition was easier for me to make. i have done it so many times, but I have to say, I'm more of a warm and sunny girl than a cold and snowy girl. So I guess given the choice, I'd rather be somewhere like this in my imagination and in my reality. Thanks, this is Minnie Stars Clark. See you next time.